episode of uh, wheels. Uh, wheels on my Rear Wheel Drive 2019 Infinity Q50S Signature Edition, and my name is Brian. Um, uh, I'll just uh, update people because it seems that people don't go back and look at other videos and they just jump to the newest video, which makes sense. I completely do it too. So I just want to catch people up. Um, Long story short, I went to new rear drag radial tires. I had uh, in a previous video, I had Pirelli's um, 245s that were actually pretty good tires. And then I had the Indy Firestone Indy 500 tires that just had no traction whatsoever. I mean, just anywhere I got on the gas, they just they just spun. It was like being on the water. Um, and you know, I don't know what that is all about, um, but. It is what it is. Um, so I went to a drag radial, and the Firestones were 275s uh, width, 19s, uh, 40 series profile, and these uh, Nitto NT555R2s are the exact same tie, same size as the uh, Firestone 500. So um, 275 width, so they're on 8.5 inch, uh, these OEM factory wheels that are like a black uh, tinted chrome finish. They're 8.5 front and rear, and so I um, made the decision to go to a 10 inch rear wheel, and I have these aftermarket Verde um, in the rear. They're, they're 10 inches wide. In the front, I just saved money and got to 8.5. I'm not tracking this car, and there's no need to have any wider wheels on the front with any more grip. I'm, I'm not uh, racing the car around the corner, so less weight up front, uh, less money. So that's why I went 8.5 in front 10 inch rear. So um, what I'm doing is is I've got uh, my uh, Verde 10 inch wheels. They are in uh, 40, 42 plus 42 offset. And they just do not seem, I tested them to the car front and rear and they're sticking out about and maybe uh, an inch past my fender looking down, which is, is quite a bit in my opinion. But that's with the, uh, the car up on, completely up on jack stand on one side. And a lot of people are telling me, and it's totally fine, that tire will fit in there, no problems whatsoever. Um, and I'm just having a hard time really seeing the difference between this wheel, and there's not a lot of room right now. If this travels up two and a half inches, this is just fitting in here, and I can just see it. it. There's not much room between the fender and this tire on this factory wheel with a factory offset. And I don't know if that's plus 50, um, but there's just not a lot of room. So it just makes doesn't make any sense that it's going to work out with a, a wheel that's sticking out an inch and a half past this, out this direction, that it's going to somehow magically fit in there. But you know, people people are saying it it, it it should work. It should work. It should work. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I take this wheel off on the video to to address this. Take the wheel off. Just put my jack under there. Put the other one, the the, the Verde wheel. Um, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm new to that brand of wheel. Uh, put it on there. Put all the left. Put the spacer on, not the spacer, but the adapter. Um, and then put the uh, all the lug nuts on, tighten them down, but not torque them down, just tighten them down, and then see what I can do to uh, come under and support the, the back end of the car suspension somehow, and lower that down where it, it'll it'll bring the tire up instead of being up on the jack where it droops quite a bit. Because I got to make a decision. I mean, I, I'm going to either have to send these tires back or I'm going to have to keep them. And, uh, and I want to keep them. I really like them, uh, but. Um, I can't keep them if, if it's going to rub. I'm not going to. I'm not going to touch my body. I'm not going to change anything. This this car is at stock suspension, stock ride height. Um, yeah. So I mean, I can't keep them if I can't use them on the car. So in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna experiment, try to see, uh, and I'm gonna bring you along with me so we can try to see if I can get. Uh, somehow without damaging the suspension or, or stressing the wheel um, and get it to where it will rise up and, and I can probably you know see that you know uh, that it might fit under there. Obviously this is an 8.5 inch rim so there's a little bit more overlap on the tire 
So when I go to a 10 inch wheel, um, you know, we're, we're getting that expansion of the 10 inches, uh, you know, 1.5 inches. And so the tire's not gonna have that bulge, but then again, your rim or the wheel is coming out. So it's gonna, it's gonna ride a little flatter and not bulge over, but it's not bulging over much. I would say it's less than a, than less than a half inch, maybe um, a quarter, less than a quarter of an inch. So I, I don't know, it's not by much. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna dive into that and put you in the video so you can see it. Well, I've got, I've got you know the wheel sitting down right here. I just wanted to bring this up. This uh, portion right here um, is seems excessive. You know, this is going to be enough metal to really integrity. You know, support this wheel, this portion. Um, and this raised is, you know, I want to say it's a good half inch, uh, maybe more, um, where if this was milled, milled down and this was only raised up maybe 10 millimeters or so, that that would be the difference of this wheel fitting on, on my car. This, is, this seems like, a, and also cut the weight down. This wheel is advertised for, you know, 22 pounds. It's the 10 inch wide rear wheel. It feels more like, you know, just maybe my old age uh, feels more like about 30 pounds, um, you know. So I'll weigh this wheel and the other wheel and the stock wheel and the tires and get the, 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 uh, the perfect weight, you know, to, to just let everyone know what, what these weights are. Hopefully this is 22 pounds um, and they didn't uh, tell me a lie. Uh, I'm sure it's not, but it feels closer to 30 just with me holding it up. But yeah, again, that could just be me, me being an old fart. But okay, just thought I'd bring that up. But yeah, there's a lot of extra material in this raised portion right here. And you know, that may just have to be that way for design, for the design, or, you know, it's just excessive. Okay. I'm just going to take a closer, closer look at this. Let me turn my fan off. All right, so I'll stay out of the light. So, as you can see, there's a good, good distance between the wheel and the shock there. Let's see here. Nothing is uh, interfering. So there's plenty of room for the wheel to come in. You know, I would say that that's probably a good two inches, two and a half inches. Um, between the wheel lip there and the shock. So there's definitely more room to come in, come in this direction. So instead of out that direction, but uh, I don't know. But well, let me see what I can do. Maybe, you know, Take the jack out, uh, or put uh, put something under under a part of the suspension arm. I just don't want to tweak, tear up anything to do. Let me see if I can hold on to my camera. I mean, my phone without putting my fingers in front of it. I just don't want to put any a uh, you know a board or a uh, you know any support under here, and then put the jack down and have this bend or damage anything or, or uh, you know, to this piece. It's clearly not, I'm not gonna be able to get 
something up inside the wheel and hold the suspension up as I lower the car car down so I mean I don't really know where the only thing I could do is put some some support under here and lower that down slightly and just see you know the suspension compresses I'm just not real sure that you know even if I put something really soft right here on the ground and just lowered that down if that's a good idea I don't want to do anything to damage or compromise the uh, the wheel um, you know anything to do that um, I just don't think it's a good idea or even put something under here where this is the supposedly the weakest part of the wheel um, the strength is all from the round on the corners where the tire grips in here and here so I just don't know I'm gonna look and see what I come up with and so I can release the jack just really slowly and maybe see that suspension compress up and get an idea all right I'm not, you know, a suspension expert or the guru of all gurus that knows everything. But, I mean, I did erase a lot of RC cars, RC10s, and they had pretty badass suspension for these little, you know, these uh, remote control uh, RC cars. I mean, pro-grade RC cars um, with the suspension design where the wheel, uh, even though through the long travel suspension, the wheel always didn't move in and out and it, and it didn't rotate with you know the wheel didn't you know the face didn't rotate with the suspension arm it always stayed straight up and down so that optimum tread was on the ground and that i don't know, can't remember the name of what that suspension is or what what kind of system that is but uh, obviously this isn't gonna unless you intentionally screw it up like people that put these low riders and they have their outside of their wheel angling out and the top of theirs angling in they're only riding on a very small part of their tread you know the patch of their tread so I mean as we can see as I take my straight edge and put that up against the flat surface that if this wheel travels up just the wheel alone and it doesn't go in anymore that um, it's it's setting outside. I don't know if that's what um, how many millimeters that is. Is I mean that's likely you know maybe uh, you know eight millimeters sitting out from the body. So just the wheel alone with the straight edge on it. Um, if this wheel goes straight up uh, or just slightly in, it's going to hit. I mean, even if it goes in a few millimeters, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna catch right here. And the tire, I, hopefully, I'm, not, I'm thinking that the rim is totally gonna. There's gonna be no tire surface if if, it, if this ever bumped up against a curve. I mean, straight rim. I mean, I would think that the wheel would pretty much come pretty flat because it's not a, you know a 245 wheel on a 10 inch rim it's a 270 on a, i'm sorry wheel people get upset if you say rim but wheel um so it's you know the tire is not going to be stretched stretched thin on this so um i mean that's just the only thing it's just going to be really really close It looks like it compressed maybe an inch. I think that's about as far as I want to go. I got my fan running so I don't get super hot. But let me uh, bring you out. Turn my fan off, my lifeline. All right. I mean, as you can see, I mean that number. I mean that distance changed a little bit, and my tire is probably going to ride about right at that height, probably right there. I mean that tire is gonna is literally probably gonna just just rub, and when it goes up in there. 
I don't, know, I don't really feel comfortable lowering it down a lot more. Man, I just hate for shit to go south. Oh god, that freaks me out. Here's a little bit more. I mean, it's still a, a, a quarter of an inch outside of the fender. Right, there's these quarter, a quarter of an inch. And that's as far as I'm gonna lower it down. I think that's about where I can literally take it. I mean, from from what I think I'm seeing, that wheel is going to, when it even travels up, it's going to be hitting right there on that edge, and even I mean right there on it. And then you've got the width of the metal in. Then you've got a liner in here. And then you're going to have the tire. It depends on if, if if the tire you know rolls how much how much of a rollover it has. It's just going to be really 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 close, man. It's a seventeen hundred dollar gamble. Well, I mean, if 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 one wheel gets mounted and one wheel can't be returned, then the other three can in the worst case scenario. So it's about a three hundred and fifty dollar loss. And can you believe this? It's going to be three hundred. And 30, 323, $330 to mount and balance because I got my black tinted chrome wheels. Obviously, I'm going to put my Pirellis back on, the black and the chrome wheels. Um, and those will be um, 35 series profiles, 19, 245s, if I'm not mistaken. And then, so I have to do those wheels. And then I'm going to transfer the wheels, the tires that are on the black chrome set of OEM wheels right now, transfer those on here. So I got to mount and balance eight tires so it's eight times 40 um and then you know tax and all this other bs that they'll add on there um so that's like 320 330 dollars um a lot of money to, i mean but this company is charging just a little bit more you know my you know you can take these anywhere and get 35 done done for 35 but they're gonna they scratch your wheels up you've already seen it already done it and this company is gonna have a mobile unit that comes out to my house in, in, a, in a good sized truck and they have the touchless, to the extent touchless. They have to touch the wheel to put it on there and they have to mount the center portion uh, to, to, they don't have the bottom piece that comes out and expands on the bottom of your rim, the wheel and holds the wheel. It's all done to the center portion. So, and then the machine doesn't touch it as it goes around. They don't use a, a you know a, a, a crowbar or a tire tire iron tool and then rotate that around where it touches the, the inside of your on your wheel so um you know forty dollars per wheel um and so that's time to take so and then tax you know who knows you know another twenty thirty dollars in tax but that's what i'm seeing so far so um take what it, you know you can comment and give me some positive encouragement or um, you know, I'll report this information to the tire people that I bought the wheels from, the wheel company, and see what they say, um, and then we'll go from there. But uh, this is the next step in figuring out if these are going to fit on here and, you know, stay with my car. So thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Share. Give me a thumbs up um, just so people can see my videos and it'll get more people can see the video. Uh, I'm not going to get wealthy or rich or, or buy a bunch of car parts off this. Uh, not anticipating and, and not telling you to, to do that. So, um, yeah, so I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And like I said, I'll see you again.